Hey everybody, this is Lena from Just a Little Bit Country. <sighs> Today we're going to do a Target haul. I haven't done one of those yet, so this will be my first Target haul that I've actually done on YouTube, on my channel. And we have an Amazon order as well. Let me get some of this junk out of the way. So, we are first going to do what came in the mail from Amazon today. So this is from Amazon. This order I made. So the first thing out of the box <laughs> is this mold here. And it's to make the Mandela balls with plaster. So I could do it with plaster. I could probably do it with some kind of cement. I could do it with um, air dry clay. I could probably even do it with resin. Okay, I will show you what it looks like. So you pour it all down in there, it makes a round mold kind of thing, right? And then when it comes out of the mold, you put this. So you pour the mold down in that thing, and when it comes out, you use this to put it on top to make your etchings as to where your dots and stuff is going to go. So that's what I bought that for. Make Mandela molds so I don't have to go out and buy them anymore. Not that I bought them, but you know. Now you can also do them on rocks and stuff, but I thought I would buy the mold. Something I want to try. So that we got a mold for that. And then I bought more tools. I've got a few, but some I were using I was using for resin and all of that stuff. So I bought some more that will strictly be for Mandela painting. So this comes with one, two, three, four, five, five different little styluses, and they each come with a really tiny end with the balls on them for painting, and another end with the little balls on them to painting to paint them. And then you've got one, two, three, you've got four of these that have the bigger um, ends to them and different ends on the other end. And then you've got these and there's five of those as well. And then I've got some other ones that look just like this, but they got big and they're big and fat and round and they got big bottoms to them that are like, they're round but they're flat. So, this is all from Mandela painting. This is what I got for that. So, this has to get packed. This is for, um, this goes down in there. I don't have to put this down there. But anyway, so that's from Mandela painting. So, that's what I got from Amazon. And then tonight we went to Target and took my grandson shopping. And this is what I got for myself. I got a, um, supposed to be a birdhouse per se, but you know a little bird ain't going to fit in there. So in my opinion, it's more like possibly a butterfly house or something like that. And uh, it probably won't even actually make it outside. It might hang on my front porch though outside, so we have to see. Anyway, you paint it. It's got a little uh, elfy gnome dude on the front of it. And it comes with the paint. Five colors of paint and a little tiny paintbrush. So I got that from Target for three dollars. Here, I'll show you this way just in case it didn't come up. Mushroom birdhouse. That's the back or the front. Here's the front, actually. And that's the back. And I got a, uh, I did get a coffee, but I think I left it in the car. I got a caramel milk chocolate bar. Now, the first one I had in my hand was a different brand, and it was almost $6 for the bar of chocolate. So this one was $3.99 for this bar of chocolate. 
And I must say, the markers and such like that at Target are extremely high. I got the Zebra Sarsa, S-A-R-A-S-A, -A -A, fine felt tip pens for writing and journaling, and there's only 10 of them. I got these, and they were $11.99 for these 10. And I will show you what the ends of them look like if I can undo this bad boy. I guess I could if I got the tape off of it, right? Maybe. I can get the tape off. Okay. So, I will show you what they look like. They are tiny like this on the end. Little pointy tips. And let's see if I can make it mark. And that's how they look on the when they color. So they were eleven ninety nine for these. S A Zebra S A R A S A. Fine fine line. You got red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green, uh, blue, uh, uh, royal blue, a purple, a pink, and a black. Those are the pens I got. Like I said, I thought they were extremely high. And I got a Hocus Pocus coloring book. And it was supposed to have been 20% off. Art of Color. I'd have to look at the receipt, and I don't even think I have the receipt at this point. But anyway. But anyway, it's supposed to have been 20% off of $16.99. So I'd have to look and see if they charged me the $16.99 or they took 20% off of that. But anyway, I'll show you the pictures in here. Hocus Pocus. Bring to a full rolling bubble. Add two drops oil of boil. Mix blood of owl with a herb that's red. Turn three times. Pluck a hair from my head. Add a dash of pox and a dead man's toe. Newt saliva and a bit of thine own tongue. It's a full moon outside. This is from the first one, the first Focus Focus movie. It's just a bunch of Pocus Pocus. I smell children. Here lies body of Emily Binks, beloved daughter and sister died 31 of October 1693. Sweet Emily taken from us most unnaturally. Rest and wait for us in a world beyond. Mary Winford. Mary Renford Sarah, Mary Winford Sarah, that's what it says. Um, unfaithful lover long since dead, deep sleep in the warm bed. Wiggle thy toes upon thine eyes, twist thy fingers toward the sky. Life is sweet, be not shy, on thy, on thy feet so saith I. Here lies the body of William Butcherson, died 1st of May, 1693, lost soul. Here lies the body of Emily Binks. I suggest we form a calming circle. I am calm.
put a spell on you. I just put a spell on you. Anyway, it's on the back. And the back has the books. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. You've got Hocus Pocus and the all new sequel, the original Hocus Pocus, and a Hocus Pocus spell book you can buy. And then on the back it says, I shall always be with you. Yes, yes, yes. It says, Art of Coloring, Disney Hocus Pocus, 100 Images to Inspire Creativity. Nothing captures the mischief and mayhem of Halloween quite like the hit film Hocus Pocus in its iconic trio of witches, the Sanderson Sisters. Create some magic of your own by coloring your way through hundreds of spellbinding images inspired by the movie, including character portraits, patterns, and beyond. These pages are sure to put a spell on you as you recreate beloved moments from this cult classic. So this is from the very first one. And they had Wednesday, the coloring book Wednesday, but I didn't really like the pages in it, so I didn't buy it. I wanted to talk to this book. I'm going to hang on to those. I might need them for something. Put them over there for now. <laughs> so. Maybe I should color a picture while we're sitting here. Just because I can. No, 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 no. What do I want to color? I always like to start with the front of my book. My problem is, though, we're going to have to find out if these bleed through. Because if they bleed through... And I won't want to color it up through it with my book, will I? And Binks was a black cat. Binks was a black cat. Let's put this here just in case. We're going to put that in there just in case. see it going through, but that don't mean it won't.
very well as you can see. I just used them a little bit now they're acting like they don't want to mark. You see that? Just used them a little bit and it's already acting like it doesn't want to mark. So would I recommend recommend these? No, I would not. And they were eleven ninety nine. I haven't even colored the whole cat and it's acting like it doesn't uh, have enough ink in it to do anything. <coughs> really don't like how they work. See how it makes like jiggly lines in there and then it fades out and it, you don't have no ink with them? I do not think I like these markers. They're not, they're not very good markers, in my opinion. So, let's see. We're going to give the little girl red hair. We're going to see what this red looks like. The red looks orange. So the red does not go on red. It goes on looking like it's an orange. Now they're not very good. You can't color for very long with them without them wanting to fade and act like they don't have anything in them and you just bought them. Not in the least. Do not like these markers in the least. Let me give some yellow cat eyes.
It's not 24, it's 23. Well, I'm making the year go away, aren't I? There we go. Wow, that's going to make the year go away. If she's got red hair and she's a natural red hair, then those will be red as well. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. So, that's what I think of those markers. They're not that great. Yeah, not that great. Maybe for writing, but not for painting. So, I did the little picture there. So there's that. So, if you like the haul, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel. Share us if you can. It gets me seen. Hit that bell for notifications. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe today will be the day. Oh, by the way, I want to show you something really quick. Here's how these two swords turned out. There's this one, and there's this one. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great day. Bye.